Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at another way that we can control alchemy. And this is a little bit of a non-traditional way, but it's built in. So it's a really powerful way to be able to create rhythmic elements inside alchemy. And we're going to be using the side chain. I did a previous video about the side chain in here, but just with a different instrument controlling this. In this case, we're going to be using our microphone to do it. So what we have to do is set up a side chain. We'll select input one. And we also, because we want to actually record this control, and normally this would just be a real time control, but we need to actually, in this case, create an audio track to go with it. So we'll call this the alchemy control. Now we're going to record on this, but not necessarily turn it on. Uh, I don't want to hear it, in other words, right now. I just want to be able to have it record, but we're not going to turn on the input monitoring. I'm going to go to this track uh, for our alchemy patch. So now I've got the routing essentially done. Uh, now what I want to do, I just loaded up this Ah Breezes patch. So this is one of the presets, nothing fancy. I'm going to come to our master and I'm going to add modulation to this and I'm going to do the envelope follower. We'll just do a new one. I don't think we were using anything on that, but uh, just using a new one for the source. I'm going to use the side chain and now um, in theory, All we have to do is turn up the depth. And now we should be getting any time that I actually say something that will feed the modulation signal. The pitch of what I'm doing doesn't actually matter. It's just going to, anytime that there's level there, it's going to open up the volume a little bit. So open up the volume. And let's change, uh, let's change to something else a little bit. Let's just do a file reset here for a second. I, want, I like that patch and it would work, but I think in some ways it's going to be a little bit simpler if we just have a basic synth. Okay, so let's do the same process, side chain, side chain, turn up the depth, side chain. Now, because I'm doing screen capture, it actually does have a little bit of a latency for me. But without that, this is, a, is, I mean, there's really very little latency. It's very usable. And so now I can come through here and do all kinds of cool sounds with my mouth. And it'll open up or close the volume of this instrument. Now, we can also do other things with this. So for instance, one thing I like to do is have the filter frequency also set up with this. So I can add modulation, same envelope follower, turn up my depth. And then what we do is we turn this down so that it opens up into it.
So you're not actually hearing when I do this. I'm actually editing out my voice. But those are all created by my voice on the same microphone I'm talking to right now. So I can go through and add complex rhythms to songs and, and do all kinds of things adding this in. Now, this isn't the only thing we can do. Change the volume and also change you know, the, the filter here. We could, if we wanted to, change this to any of the different effects. So we could do a bit crusher. We could come through on any of the different individual sound sources or global effects. Uh, we could change some of our other effects down in here in the same way. So any kind of audio source then can be used to control other elements here. So it makes a really powerful way to be able to modulate our signal using an audio input. And you can create uh, rhythms, harmonic changes, you can do all kinds of things. Anything that can be modulated, you can use this sidechain input to do it. Okay, here's just another example. Once I had the audio recording, uh, I want to show you how to get that uh, set up through the sidechain because if you want it to re replay with that input every time, you actually have to record the audio into its own track, the one you're using for the input. Then I send it out to a phantom bus, which means I sent it out to just a random bus and then I go to the aux channel where that bus was. It automatically creates an aux channel for every bus you make. I'm going to set no input. That way it doesn't actually go to our stereo output. Once I do that, I can come to the side chain and choose bus number nine. That way the audio from that track then uh, always goes out into alchemy and only alchemy. Okay, um, that was just a, a sample there, but just to show you the routing and why I record the microphone into an audio track so that you can actually use it later as well. Okay, that's what I wanted to share today. Hope this all made sense. Hope you're having a great week. We're going to do a couple more videos this week, so hang tight, and uh, I'll see you again soon.